Hello, my darling loves. Welcome to your love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of Light, which, guys, I'm going to be posting all 12 signs again uh, shortly, okay? Um, I do have a Virgo and Leo only channel. The links to those channels are in the description box below. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post um, and you know when I go live. I go live once a month. I do a monthly giveaway. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and crystals, okay? So make sure that notification bell is on and popping so you don't miss that live. Um, Readings can be vice versa, so flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation, okay? Uh, I do not take personal readings, so any phone numbers that you see in the comment section is not me. If anyone reaches out to you on social media, it's also not me, okay? Um, I can recommend Barbara from Quartz Rose Tarot um, for personal readings, or if you have an iPhone, there is an app listed in the description box below for readings by the minute. Um, it's a really good app, okay? What else do I want to tell you guys? Oh, and in the description box, you'll also find recommended readers if, you know, the YouTube channels that you want to check out. So guys, I know yesterday a lot of people, <coughs> excuse me, said that they would prefer the morning readings um so i'm gonna try to switch it because i when i do the early morning readings i record them the day before because i am not waking up at five o'clock in the morning i love you guys i love you guys but i am not waking up at five o'clock in the morning um so i have to record them the day the day before so i'm gonna try to switch everything back to the way it was before because it seemed like everybody really enjoyed the morning ones more okay and thank you so much for your patience and love and support, guys, because I had that migraine. I got the Botox. I still have a little bit of a headache. I'm going to see a neurologist on March 20th um, because I do have, uh, they told me that this type of pain in the face, I had a CT scan of my head and everything. I've got nerve pain in my body. So I'm just trying to get my health right and get my work schedule right and you know, just trying to handle life. Okay. So thank you guys for, um, only you just popped out here. So thank you guys for, uh, being there for me and, you know, showing up every day, even though life has been a little crazy for me. Um, okay. So let's get pop in here, spirit. You know, again, just like I said yesterday, when things happen before a reading, some of you guys may be showing gratitude or maybe need to show gratitude um, around for the people around you, the people that have been there for you when you're going through a hard time. Sometimes we're going through a difficult time and we don't realize how much, um, you know, us not being there affects the people around us. You know what I'm saying? So maybe today is a good day to show some gratitude for the people that, you know, are always showing up and showing out even when you know we're kind of going through our own thing and we're we're in our own bubble okay <coughs> okay so let's see what we have here please spirit for cancer sun moon rising venus in love tell me about cancer please sun moon rising venus in love okay so we've got bottled up and we've got conflict Ooh, i'm hearing somebody has something that they need to say Somebody, this person has something that they need to say. Why am I getting a sense of fear? Shattered and side piece. Okay. Oh, cancer. Yeah. foresight and call and then we've got obsession present and coffee date on the bottom of the deck why do i feel like this is both of you for some i mean it could very well okay let me get let me let me just tell you where i'm at here okay there is somebody here that has something that they need to say to you okay this is somebody that has been either 
either you and this person broke up and they got themselves into another relationship or they've been, you know, speed dating, going one person after the other, okay? You're about to get a phone call from this person, and I mean like today. This is going to happen in the very near future if it hasn't already happened, okay? The, what's interesting, though, the feeling that I get, Cancer, is that both of you, I know this is supposed to just be one side, but I don't know why. I feel like both of you broke up and went towards different people, started dating other people, and it's been nothing but one bad experience after the other since you guys have left each other, okay? And this particular person on this side is angry. And let me tell you why they're angry. Because they're tired of dealing with these third-party energies when in reality, it is you that they love. Do you understand what I'm saying? They're, they're mad that it didn't work out between you guys. Maybe you walked away. Uh, maybe you didn't want to make it work, Cancer. I don't know. But whatever it is, this person is mad because they're living a lie. They're mad that they have to deal with all these people that are built for the streets because all they want to do at the end of the day is come home to you. And they're going to tell you that they're mad. They're mad that you left them. They're mad that you walked away. They're mad that you gave up on the connection or cancer. They're mad at themselves for walking away or giving up on the connection. This person is going to call. They have a lot of anxiety about this, but they can't stop thinking about it. Some of you may be dreaming of this person, or you may see synchronicities, or you may be just walking in a store, and you know how they got the music playing in the stores, or in your car, you may hear a song that reminds you of this person. Um, I see you meeting up with this person, Cancer. Okay, and this is going to happen like now. Okay, uh, it's going to happen now. This full moon that just passed may be released uh, egos or, you know, full moons are about releasing what doesn't serve, right? And this person's a living, they're living a lifestyle that doesn't serve them. Okay, they're living a lifestyle that doesn't serve them. They know where they're meant to be and they're just angry. They're angry that they're living like this when they could be home with you. Tell me about Bottled Up. Two of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, if you're at a stalemate with this person, if you're at a stalemate with this person where you guys just kind of ended things, where you stopped talking to each other, that's going to break. Tell me about conflict and the Queen of Pentacles. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo that's coming forward. This is someone that misses your caring, nurturing energy. They, they know that you are their queen or their king. Like they know that you are above these other people that they are with. Tell me about shattered. In a way, in a sense here, Cancer, even though, even though this person has been out there doing things, they have, their heart in a way has still remained loyal to you because nobody has been able to take their heart. These third party energies may have taken their body and their time, but their heart has always belonged to you. We've got shattered. Shattered and the nine of pentacles here strong virgo energy guys okay we've got the king of cups we could be dealing with a cancer scorpio pisces and side piece here even though even though this person has dated other people the king of cups is a very loving and loyal energy in their divine masculine energy but um they're in control of their emotions so this is someone that was able to to separate from you, be with other people, maintain control over their emotions. They were with other people while still being in love with you, Cancer, okay? This person shattered because they lost a pre-empress energy. Cancer, I feel like many of you might be single right now. You're doing well financially. You're looking good, feeling good, taking care of yourself, taking care of your home, living your best life, okay? Now, this person's having an epiphany, 
okay, with foresight here. They're having an epiphany. With the Three of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles can talk about building a solid foundation with somebody, knowing that you can make it work, okay, knowing that you can make it work. Now, you know, the Three of Pentacles can also re represent the two people in a relationship, and that third pentacle can sometimes represent a mediator, like a, a pastor, a priest, a therapist, a psychologist, a marriage counselor, um, and sometimes it can also represent the divine, okay? So, you know, with foresight here, somebody is saying, you know what, we could have made it work. We could have made it work. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, we could have made it work. We've got the Seven of Swords, we've got the Queen of Cups, and the Page of Cups, Cancer, this is someone that's coming forward to apologize to you about lying to you, maybe betraying you, being deceitful, taking advantage of you. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, this is somebody that when you were with them, they may have come off as solid, stable, committed, but with the Queen of Wands in the middle here, they still had maybe a wandering eye or they were still communicating with other uh, people outside of the relationship. Maybe they had a fear of missing out, wondering if the gra grass was greener. You know, maybe they weren't 100% sold on the relationship when they were with you, but they're realizing that whatever they did to you, it's almost like they were they were in that energy when they were with you and you were telling them, listen, you know, if you're liking other people's pictures on social media, that's disrespectful. Or if we're out and you're looking at other people, that's disrespectful. If you're flirting with other people, that's disrespectful. And this person didn't want to hear you because they didn't want to change. I mean, let's just point blank, period. You know what I'm saying? They didn't want to change. And they're realizing now that if they would have respected the way you feel, it could have been an amazing relationship. Do you understand? It could have been a really amazing relationship. They have not, they have yet to find anyone that comes close to what you bring to the table, Cancer. Do you see what I'm saying? And this person's angry. They're angry at themselves for not listening to the way you feel. Um, that, well, no, they're angry at you for, well, Ugh, the confusion uh, they're angry at themselves for not listening or paying attention to your feelings and they're mad at you for not giving them the time to wake up and see the truth but honestly cancer if you would have stayed with this person they would have never seen the truth because if you're if you're staying in your comfort zone then you're never going to be forced to change. All these endings that you see taking place in life, relationships that end, family members that come and go, friends that come and go, those endings are happening for a reason, Cancer, because you're forcing people and yourself out of your comfort zone. Do you understand? And that is the only way that change actually takes place. Do you see what I'm saying? You know, think about it. When we were kids, right? When we were kids and we wanted to leave our parents' house so bad, like you were do you remember those days when you just couldn't wait to get your own place and then finally you tell your parents to go screw themselves and you walk out the house and you leave in about a year you're going to be daydreaming about the days when you could just go home at the end of the day after work and not have to worry about paying bills and you know just having a hot meal on the table or you know, do you understand what i'm saying then you know it's only when you leave that comfort zone you realize what you had do you understand what i'm saying Okay, tell me about cancer, please. And that that specific example probably isn't going to resonate with anybody because I left my house at 17 and I never looked back. So, but I mean, for some of you, right, that might resonate. Okay, so cancer, you've got chemistry and you've got unspoken here. So, Cancer, I feel like whether you want to admit it to yourself or not, um, you were very disappointed and have regrets over this relationship also. I'm not saying that this person wasn't mistreating you, but maybe, Cancer, back then, you weren't operating from your highest self either, okay? Um, I feel like 
you still think of this person. You still carry a flame for this person. You do, okay? You do. I don't care. You could yell at me or whatever, you know, but you do. There's still a part of you that when you think of this person and you think of the good times, you know, you, you get a little smile on your face, okay? But with avoiding an apology, you were not going to be the one to apologize to this person first. Why? Because ultimately the core foundation of your argument was correct. And it was, okay? The way you handled it may not have been the best version of yourself, okay? But still, you are not, we're not going to be the first one to apologize because at the core foundation of your argument, you were still right. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that you were not shattered when this fell apart, okay? Um, I, I feel like this left you just as broken hearted, okay? We've got consequences, karma, destiny, cause and effect. So Cancer, I got to be honest here. This is a reading where both of you, both of you did not act right in this connection. This person was messing up, but because you were not handling things in an ascended manner it pushed this person away and this person was definitely not doing the right thing and it pushed you away okay it, it's kind of like i wouldn't be surprised if the wheel of fortune came out comes out because it's like it just you didn't meet this person at the right time you know what i'm saying you just didn't meet them at the right time see uh, okay look and look at what we have here we've got time and it says wait cycles infinity we've got rejection we've got resentment we've got fantasy and we've got second chance and we've got hoping okay so you see what i'm saying cancer i feel like this rejection on both of your ends needed to take place i feel like when the this rejection happened when you walked away from them or they walked away from you there was resentments here there was ugly words being said okay but after a period of time you guys started to fantasize about each each other about having a second chance about hoping uh, manifesting each other back you know because when it was good it was so good but when it was bad you guys were not at a level of ascension where you were equipped to handle this the correct way so something really beautiful got you know what i'm saying got destroyed i mean imagine a beautiful delicate piece of furniture being delivered to your house and you've got movers with equipment that don't know how to handle that beautiful masterpiece and it just falls and shatters do you see what i'm saying you had a beautiful thing here and both of you at that point in time were not equipped to deal with it okay now i will say i am going to say cancer that on your side here your the core foundation of your argument was correct and that's why you don't feel that you, you coming forward to apologize is what's going to happen do you understand you're not you're not going to do that you know tell me about chemistry for cancer we've got the queen of wands Tell me about chemistry and the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Tell me about Unspoken and the Six of Cups. Cancer, okay, how do I want to put it? There was no closure in this connection. You had to live in an energy with this person of feeling every day in and out that they were attracted to other people and with the six of cups when you look back at the past um you know that part hurts you it does there are things that this person has done that you haven't even spoken to them about that you know memories that you hold on to do you understand what I'm saying? And that's why even if you miss this person, even if you miss this person, even if you miss this person, you're not going to apologize because with the fool card here and the lovers card, Adam, Eve, and the snake. So we got the fool, the lovers, and the six of wands. As much as you love this person when they're good, this this person needs a lot of attention from outside entities so you got adam even the snake do you see what i'm saying this person will flirt with anybody they will talk to anybody they need attention from outside energies and that does not make you feel comfortable okay that does not make you feel comfortable that they give so much attention to people outside of the relationship 
And that's why you're not going to come forward first and apologize because if you apologize first, Cancer, that would make them think that you feel sorry for the point of view that you have and you're not sorry for the point of view that you have. Do you see what I'm saying? So with the Two of Wands and the Five of Pentacles, you thought it would be best to just leave this alone. Tell me about, like, you knew that they had to see the error of their ways and come to you. Tell me about Shattered, please. We've got the Ace of Cups. Now, I think this is interesting, Cancer, and I'm going to tell you why. Shattered and the Ace of Cups. And then look, Shattered. Again, you guys are both trying to go to other people. Okay, you guys are both trying to go towards other people and you're hitting karmics. You're hitting karmics. And look at what we have under the deck, the Knight of Cups, and there's that Wheel of Fortune with the Five of Cups that I just told you about. Boom, baby. Okay, it is coming back together in Divine Timing, Cancer. The regrets are starting to hit because honestly, Cancer, neither of you can replace consequences and the star. Neither of you guys can replace each other. <clears throat> and because you guys can't replace each other, you keep replaying the events that happened in that past relationship and thinking about the woulda, shoulda, couldas. If I would have acted like this, the star card and the eight of pentacles, guys, I do feel a, a conversation is going to take place that's going to spark hope that this time it can actually work. And do you want to know why? Because you're coming back together and this person is going to tell you, listen, I understand your point of view on what I was doing wrong and I'm willing to change. And then you're going to say, thank you for understanding my point of view. This is, you know, I sh also shouldn't have, you know, keyed your car cancer like i also shouldn't have busted your windshield <laughs> you know what i'm saying so cancer you're gonna you're gonna apologize for the way that you know you handled things okay you're gonna apologize for the way but the reason why you were brought to this level and and brought ga gaslit to this point is because you were speaking and you were not being heard do you understand what i'm saying cancer you were talking and this person wasn't giving you the respect the love the care the attention to listen and respect your feelings and and you're like okay well if you don't hear me let's see if you understand what i'm saying when you only got three flat tires that you only got one one full tire on your car i'm going to make sure that these three tires do not work so when you get in your car you got time to think about what i'm trying to say to you <laughs> You see what I'm saying? So, Cancer, you're going to apologize for the way that you handled it. Okay, so let's take this into the extended. Um, let's see when you're going to be getting this phone call in uh, and what's going to happen from there. Will you guys be able to work this out? What is the long term? You know, are you guys just making promises because you miss each other and you want this to come back together? Or will you guys really stay true, both of you, will you both stay true to the promises that you're giving each other and, you know, will it be able to go long term okay and let's see what kind of future you guys are looking at together all right guys i love you all so much and i will see you uh in the extended the link is in the description box below and in the comment section below take care my darlings bye